Oh, there you are. Welcome. This is the last war story in the line of Battlefield 1 campaign. Uh, nothing is written. So we're going to be playing Arabia, Lawrence of Arabia, and the Ottoman Empire missions. Um, this will be the last of the single player campaigns that I'm going to be recording. I'm going to record this as one long recording and just cut it up for each mission individually. So if you do, if it, if you do watching this video and it suddenly stops, just wait. You'll see a card for the next one coming up. Just click on and follow on. So yeah, let's get into this and let's get started. The last campaign. In the deserts of Arabia, an insurgency war was raging years before I got to France. Tribes of Bedouins had united to fight a war that was very different from the one we fought in the trenches. Using small mobile units, they challenged the might of an empire, and they were rallied around the ideas of a single influential warrior. Ideas of freedom and change. Lawrence, you've been busy. So, hidden in plain sight will be the first one. Young men's work, and here the desert. Let's get this going. The Arabian Desert, a vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched, sun-baked rocks. Beneath these endless dunes, oil, the lifeblood of our new mechanical century. For more than 400 years, the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands, controlling all that's to be found here. But the Ottomans do not rule unopposed. Small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> In the, the desert, warfare. you rely on good planning, but you also hope for a dash of luck. And luck was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train carrying a most interesting piece of cargo. A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. When your enemy has better weapons and better equipment than you, steal from your enemy. We strive to do what we think is right, 
and push through those who would stop us from achieving this, no matter the cost. A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. Though powerful and efficient, firearms would often attract attention. You had to be prepared for the Ottomans to respond in kind. Just keeping your knife but then you will turn you to a knife only. There's a world of difference between seeing something and having it in your own two hands. Silenced. That was close. Hmm. 
Oh, he's coming aside. That big. Burada bir şeyler var sandım dedi. Mıntıkayı iyice teftiş eyleyin. Akabinde gidek. Bulursanız Teşekkür bana abi. haber eyleyin. Defterini gelmişim. ben durmak isterim. Şakın ben. Hadi lan, git bunu. Geçti bu. Seni kurucam, seni geberteceğim. Geçti mi olursan sana kimse dokunmayacak. Bak, seni ne kadar çok ararsam o kadar çok asabım bozuluyor. Sorry. I didn't care. Psychological. I kill Matt before I kill him. I usually kill everybody. That's just me. I don't like to see what it is. Too late. 
Ooh, nice. I think the gun I picked up from the other guy. That's better. Let's go. Come out! It's over! Well, you did not think we would be fast enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> Actually, I was rather depending on it. Eh, Lawrence? Ah. Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. So who might you be? How enchanting you are, my dear. Achmed. I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Even now, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies, your families, your homes. Soon there will be nowhere to run! Nowhere to hide! Soon all that you know, and all that you love, the ashes. You will all be free to die. Oh, you animal! Zara! Oh. Now I understand that you would like nothing more than to strip the flesh from that man's feet and send him off into the desert naked to die. But think about it. I'm sorry, my friend here, she can be a little brusque. <laughs> You're going to tell me how to lie to your train so we can lure it into a trap and destroy it. Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train, you would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, like this one. You can never stop the progress of machines! One day, the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold beneath its sands. We shall see, my friend. <laughs> I mean, here we go, shouldn't be 